So my client had been given uh, his grandmother's old bench seats and um, yeah, not particularly pretty, but he wanted to keep some part of them at least. Um, so I decided to have some new bench seats made. So really the only salvageable, usable part was the, the top plank. And it's all old New Zealand cowrie and all nailed together as well, so that was fun. It all had this kind of hand carved texture on all of the pieces, so it took actually quite a bit to thickness it all out. Um, and you can see there the little dowels that filled up the nail holes. So I mixed up some epoxy, threw in some black oxide, because uh, one of the planks had a pretty nasty split. So just pouring it in and um, pouring it in any of the voids, nail holes, and anything else I can get at the same time. And then I could just keep filling up the crack as it drained off and eventually pretty much filled it and added a, a clamp to kind of push it all back together. And while that's all drying, I could machine up the uh, Pacific Island cowrie to make the base of the, of the seats. And then I could lay out the actual shape of the X legs uh, in full scale, just on my bench top. And I could just use a piece of the thickness leg timber to draw in where the legs will go. And then I could measure off this drawing to get my angles. So while checking that I had enough length in my pieces of timber, I came to a sudden realization that I had drawn out the leg wrong and it should be flat, not on its edge. Um, so after deciding that there was too many lines, I sanded off all the lines and could redraw uh, what I thought was the right orientation for the legs and cut them all to length. I could cut out most of the waste of the half lap joint uh, on the using the depth stop um, stopper on my drop saw. Okay, so I just finished making these X's up, which was cool. Unfortunately, after making the top pieces, which are meant to go like this, I realized that my X's are in the wrong orientation. So, uh, they're meant to be like that. So these are all scrap. I start again. So after scrounging around for a couple of extra pieces of timber in my timber stack. I, I managed to cut the rest of the legs again, do the joinery again, and was able to get on with the glue up.
and this is the top plate that was set across the top of the X. So just adding some dominoes to hold them in, in place. And then I could cut a notch that the seat plank will sit in. And I, uh, I did add some clamps to this as well. A quick round over and the legs are done. Now I could mark out the main stretcher. So it needs a notch in it to go around the top of the X frame. With the epoxy dry, I could machine that off and, and then sand up the planks. Uh, then I could just put some water-based polyurethane over the whole lot and it's a super not easy shape to uh, to finish. Um, I'm just using a speed brush there. It's essentially just a sponge uh, with a handle. Nice quick way to get a good finish. And that's that. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.